Okay, as promised, I finally got the AFV Club tracks, the correct ones, correct tracks in the correct package. So I'm just going to real quick like um, show a comparison between them and the um, stock kit tracks for the Tamiya SDKFC 251. Um, as you can see here, I'm going to zoom in, pardon my crude hold down method here, but uh, we'll zoom in here so you can see what's going on. As you can see, this is the inside and um, on the Tamiya track, as you can see here, it's really flat. There's no detail at all. All there are, are all there are, are these small guide horns, and they're really kind of anemic looking. Whereas the AFV Club track has this like perforated detail on the edge, actual uh, joint between the links, and these larger, more hefty looking. Um, guide horns, guide teeth. So the inside is way better and looking at the width, this one is a little bit narrower. I'm going to take a wild guess and say this is probably more to scale because I've kind of laid them on the tracks and they look like they are a lot more to scale than these are. These look just really kind of wide. Um, so that is the inside where the uh, road wheels would make contact. So the, whoa, okay, so the uh, portion that makes contact with the road, um, again, the, the detail on the track kits is not bad. You've got these grooves, and there's a few different styles, and apparently um, all the styles are pretty much universal. Uh, you'd see different types on the same type of vehicle. Um, so these are uh, the rubber pad type. And I'll kind of tilt this on its side here in a minute so you can see. But uh, again, on the top, you've got this nice detail. You've got like a little bit of a groove detail with the perforations. Really nice defined uh, track pads compared to the, the Tamiya kit tracks. Now they're not bad, they have some decent detail on them, but again, they're you know they're, a little, they're quite a bit wider. And uh, you know, if you weren't for, if this was all you're seeing, these might be okay, but these just look a whole lot better. Now in profile, see if I can tilt it up on its side. You can see here that the track pads are pretty substantial. They're pretty thick compared to the Tamiya track pads. Now in all the photos I've seen, especially the photo on the, uh, the vehicle that I'm building, which I will show you here. Um, You can see right here that those are pretty, pretty thick track pads. You know the shadow. You can you can tell that these things are sticking out quite a bit. That little angle right there. So um, the uh, AFV Club tracks just seem to be way better as far as uh, detail. Now, true, they are um, you know the strip type tracks that people like to refer to as rubber band tracks or whatever but um, they are nicely detailed and if I can get them peeled up here I want to show you something that's pretty cool the way they package them and they did this with the other tracks too it seems to be just the way they track your packages to style up track um, they fold them like this so the part that connects and when it connects I haven't cut the little tab off yet but I did put it together um, when you put it together 
it looks just like the rest with the joint and everything. So it should look really clean and really nice. But put that up underneath the fender. And as you can see, the way they package them, the bend is at the front and the back. So it will fit around the wheels nicely. So I shouldn't have any weird kinks or anything like that to deal with once they're installed on the vehicle. So once I get the vehicle completed, um, you'll be able to see uh, how well they work or not. But I'm thinking they're going to work just great. So anyway, that was just a quick rundown. I said I'd post these up as soon as I got them. So here they are. Uh, for those of you that have just found this video by itself, uh, this is part of a series about the uh, Tamiya SDKFZ 259. And I'll add a link um, to at least one of the videos in the comments section. That way, if you're just seeing the uh, review on the tracks and you want to see them or see what vehicle they are going on, uh, you can just click on the link. So anyway, that's it for now. Just wanted to go over that really quick. Thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. And I'll catch you later.